Welcome to Wisdom Trek with Gramps. I am Guthrie Chamberlain and we are on day 2440 of our trek. The purpose of Wisdom Trek is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, and to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. In today's Wisdom Nugget, I'll guide you through the vast landscapes of biblical wisdom. We are diving into the powerful and heartfelt words of Psalm 18, focusing on verses 1-6 through from the New Living Translation. This psalm is a beautiful expression of gratitude, trust, and reliance on God, penned by David in a moment of reflection on God's deliverance. So grab your walking sticks and let's trek together through these inspiring verses. Psalm chapter 18, verses 1-6 through I love you, Lord. You are my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my savior. My God is my rock in whom I find protection. He is my shield and power that saves me and my place of safety. I call on the Lord who is worthy of praise. He saves me from my enemies. The ropes of death entangle me. Floods of destruction swept over me. The grave wrapped its ropes around me. Death laid its trap in my path. But in my distress, I cried out to the Lord. Yes, I prayed to God for help. He heard me from his sanctuary. My cry to him reached his ears. We start with David's heartfelt declaration in verses 1 and 2. I love you, Lord. You are my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my savior. My God is my rock, in whom I find protection. He is my shield, the power that saves me, and my place of safety. David opens this psalm with a simple yet profound expression of love and devotion to the Lord. He recognizes God as the source of his strength, portraying him as his rock, his fortress, and his savior. These metaphors paint a vivid picture of God's unwavering stability and security in David's life. As we reflect on these verses, we're reminded of the importance of recognizing God's strength and protection in our own lives. Like David, we can find refuge in God, trusting in Him to be our stronghold in times of trouble. This relationship of love and trust becomes God's foundation upon which our lives are built. In verse 3, David continues, I called on the Lord, who is worthy of praise. He saved me from my enemies. David's experience of calling on the Lord and being saved is a powerful testament of God's faithfulness. He acknowledges God's worthiness of praise, attributing his deliverance to the Lord's intervention. This verse encapsulates the essence of David's relationship with God, a dynamic interaction where David's praise and prayers are met with God's saving power. This encourages us to cultivate a life of prayer and praise, knowing that our cries for help will not go unnoticed. God is attentive to our pleas, ready to extend his hand to salvation and deliverance. When we face adversities, let us remember to call on the Lord, confident that he hears and responds. David vividly describes a perilous situation he faced in verses 4 and 5. The ropes of death entangle me. Floods of destruction sweep over me. The grave wrapped its ropes around me. Death laid a trap in my path. This verse conveys an intensity of the dangers David encountered. He uses striking imagery of death and destruction, illustrating how close he was to being overwhelmed. The ropes of death and the floods of destruction paint a picture of an inescapable peril, while the trap laid by death signifies a cunning and persistent threat. David's words resonate with anyone who has felt trapped or overwhelmed by life's challenges. These moments of profound vulnerability remind us that we need a savior. David's honesty about his struggles invite us to be equally transparent with God bringing our fears and anxiety before him. In verse 6, David shares a response to this distressing situation. But in my distress, I cried out to the Lord. Yes, I prayed to my God for help. He heard me from his sanctuary. My cry to him reached his ears. Despite the overwhelming circumstances, David turns to God in his distress, crying out for help. This act of turning to God in prayer demonstrates David's deep trust and dependence on the Lord. What's remarkable is the assurance that God hears him. David's cries are not lost in the vastness of this universe. They reach the ears of God. This verse is a powerful reminder that a compassionate and attentive God hears our prayers. No matter how dire our situation may seem, we can cry out to God with confidence that he is listening. Our relationship with God is one that we can bring our deepest concerns and know that they matter to him. As we reflect on these verses, several key lessons emerge that we can apply to our own lives. First, express your love for God. Like David, openly express your love and gratitude to God. Acknowledge His strength and protection in your life, recognizing Him as your rock and fortress. Second, cultivate a life of prayer and praise. 
Develop a habit of calling on the Lord in times of trouble and praising Him in all circumstances. Trust that the Lord God hears your prayers and is worthy of praise. Third, be honest about your struggles. Don't be afraid to acknowledge the difficulties that you face. Bringing your fears, anxieties, and challenges before God, trusting that He understands and cares. Fourth, trust in God's response. Have confidence that God hears your cries and is attentive to your needs. Even amid overwhelming circumstances, trust that God is working on your behalf. And fifth, find refuge in God's presence. In the moments of distress, find refuge in God's presence, allowing His strength and protection to be your source of comfort and security. As we apply these lessons in our daily lives, we deepen our relationship with God and strengthen our faith. Expressing our love for God fosters a sense of gratitude and appreciation for His presence in our lives. Cultivating a life of prayer and praise keeps us connected to God, reminding us of His constant care and provisions. Being honest about our struggles allows us to experience God's compassion and understanding. Trusting in God's responses gives us the courage to face adversity, knowing that we're not alone. And finding refuge in God's presence provides us with the peace and security that we need to navigate life's challenges. As we conclude this exploration of Psalm chapter 18, verses 1-6, through six, let's carry these lessons with us on our journey. Love God wholeheartedly, commit to a life of prayer and praise, be honest about your struggles, trust in God's response, and find refuge in His presence. By doing so, we'll align ourselves with the timeless wisdom of David's prayer and live lives that reflect God's love and faithfulness. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Wisdom Trek. May these insights in Psalm 18 inspire and strengthen you as you continue through your trek of life. Until the next time, keep seeking God's wisdom, cherish each moment, and continue to make a positive impact on the world around you. And if you found this podcast insightful, please subscribe and leave us a review. Then encourage your friends and family to join us and come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, and most importantly, I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. As we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and create a great day every day. See you next time for more Daily Wisdom.